Welcome to Vilnius. We are in what country? Oh, we are in Lithuania. Oh, <laughs> perfect. I've never been in before, and now we're going to drive a bus actually to another city yes. I've never been in before. No, we're going to take the Lux Express to Riga. Follow us on this trip. Now we are at the autobus station here in Vilnius and behind me we have the, all the buses going from the big cities into Vilnius and out again. Uh, just outside this building we have all the small city buses and we have seen a lot of them today. And there is a big variety here of different kind of buses and the buses are not brand new. Even though we do also have new buses, we also have buses here from the good old, good old days. And hopefully we can take you on board on one of them before we leave the city of Riga tomorrow. Yes, we, we need to test it because it, this is buses from the 60s, 70s, <laughs> trolley buses. Oh, it's, it's a lovely town to see everything. It's like walking around in a museum. There is also a beautiful old city here. We also need to show you that before we leave. So join us for this little trip here in the Baltic. This is Vilnius and Riga. And behind the bus terminal, it's a paradise. Yes. Oh, oh my. So many buses here uh, that are from the 90s, 2000 and 2010 area. This is like, again, walking to a museum. I love it. We have the old Buva, the old Starliner. We have uh, Isuzu. We have to take a look at this. Yes. Hopefully nobody will kick us out. Oh. I, I think it's uh, safe to walk here. This is an old city liner. City liner was it, of yes. course, not Starliner. This is the big one. This is maybe one of the oldest one uh, in this parking lot. Pre axle. BY. Oh, it's from Belarus. I love it to see these buses still in service. I wish we could take a trip with that. <laughs> Would be nice. Huh. Oh, I guess the engine sound of this one is wonderful. Oh, yeah. This is a V8. It's, an, uh, it's a Mercedes V8 engine in this one. 15 liter V8 with twin turbo. And here we can see the pants are hanging and uh, drying. <laughs> <laughs> and this old Maas, this is a Soviet built bus. I think it's actually built in, uh, in Belarus actually. Yeah, I believe so. It's believe also with the Belarusian signs. So it's mm. uh, probably where it's located as well. But I don't like this bus at all. <laughs> oh, it's uh, electronic manual gear shift. What engine do you think we have in here? Ah, no, I should believe it was an MIN. Okay. It. I don't know. Oh, look at that old Mercedes. 404 in a short version. It's absolutely beautiful. 404 was a really expensive bus from Mercedes-Benz. Uh, they lost money on every unit they sold. They built from this short one up to um, a double-decker. I think they made two double-deckers uh, together with uh, the factory Dragmeller. And here we have one of the small ones. This is one of the small ones, and it's nice to see that it's still running. Wow. I wonder how old it is. Oh, we can ask him. Yeah, we can. Hello? He didn't speak English. But uh, if you ask me, I believe it's like uh, 94, 95. On the plate, it was mentioned 2000. I was a little bit surprised because I didn't know they produced them up to 2000. Should we go and test out some city buses? Yeah, we have to. Yeah, okay. this was a great start of the trip. We've just yeah. been here for some hours and we've seen this big variety of buses. Okay, let's jump on this bus. Okay, we just oh, yeah. arrived in this uh, old, old, old trolley bus. We just jumped on, so we have no idea where we're going, what to do, what to see. It was the first we saw, the oldest one we could find. And we have no idea if it's going out from the city center or into the city center. But this is the care. kind of adventure we love. Yeah, it is. Because this is also how you learn the city, how you can explore things a lot better. This is the way of seeing things in a good way. The public transport systems around the cities, around the world, jump on them, try them. It doesn't hurt. If it goes wrong, take the same bus the way back. You don't have to pay for the uh, and, uh, jump off, jump on buses. Take this, take the city bus. So now we're doing it and <laughs> it's a museum. Yeah. It's so freaking old. 
It's rust everywhere. The walls are two millimeters thick. No isolation, no uh, air condition. This is very cool. It's old in noise and the, all the, the whole bus is vibrating uh, yeah, when it's driving on. This is on nice road, it's asphalt. Yeah, actually, yeah. because there's a lot of brick stones on the ground here. But here it's actually tarmac like normal. <laughs> it's noisy, but I love it still. It's perfect conditions. And it runs. Yeah, it's maybe 40, 45 years old. And I don't think it is an Icarus because I was taking a look at the steering wheel. They had actually the Volkswagen logo on the steering wheel and it looks so old. <laughs> so, so we need to figure out what brand this is. Did they produce trolley buses? No. Skoda did. We just jump off the old old timer. But behind you, you have a, quite a new trolley bus from uh, Solaris. Yeah, it's Trollino 12. We were seeing on Google Maps that the bus was supposed to go for almost 40 more minutes. So we just jumped off so we could get back to the city. Uh, we want to explore a lot more of the city center. And now we are in a typical, I will call it more like a Soviet uh, Yeah, suburban so area uh, from the old uh, Soviet uh, era, uh, time. Gray brick buildings, yeah. tall buildings, big streets, straight streets. But still it's green, it's nice, there's people everywhere. <laughs> Beautiful. Where we jumped off to take the new bus, it's actually a fire. Yes, there is a fire in the apartment in the fourth floor of the building behind us. We have been so. looking at the guy breaking into the window and trying to get this uh, sorted out, but there's no hope anymore. So no. it is too too much smoke for him. Now the fire team is here, so let's see how they can make this work out. But what surprised me, there is no alarm. There is no. There is no. That took quite a long time before the fire truck arrived. Yeah, we could smell the the smoke already for ten minutes ago. Yeah, there was an so. old bus stopping here, and we was like, "Wow, what's wrong with this bus?" And then we looked at the the building, and then we saw it. Speaking of old bus, now we have the old trolley behind again. Yes. It looks like the fire is uh, done. It was a cooking plate that was uh, probably ulming. Maybe uh, one guy that forgot to uh, take away the, the plate from the oven. Probably. So, but now we jump on our bus again. Did you see which uh, number this was? No, I didn't. <laughs> Exciting. So let's see yeah. where we will end up yeah. after this trip. Yes. Now we are close to the city center. So next stop, we're going to jump off. Uh, oh, it is already here. It's already here. Cool. Yeah. Oh. We are close by the river, so let's yeah. see. <laughs> ah, perfect. Bye bye, trolley. I, I just have to admit it. I love trolley buses. I really do. They are quiet and they have no uh, gear shift. It's just running and the party is on. Yes. <laughs> They can run forever. You see that they, are, they have no like parts that will you have to change all the time. So no, this it's, is very good. Yeah, the electric engine is more or less only three uh, three parts. I believe the buses is like 40, 45, maybe more. So now there is a beautiful bridge. It don't look so old. Yeah, let's cross the bridge and see what's happening there. So it looks like the modern side of the city. So now we are on the top of the river, it's called Vilja, which probably is because of Vilnius, I don't know why. I don't know. I this is something we are not very good at, no. river names and uh, <laughs> like that. We should uh, have been following the, the history time uh, at school. Yeah. But we didn't, we just looked at buses. <laughs> it's beautiful here, it's the spring, it's getting warmer. I love this weather, it's perfect. So now we're going to take a little walk here in the city, come back to the old town and we will pick you up then when we are back in the old city. Behind you, the big city wall of Old Town, Vilnius. It's nice, it's no windows, nothing at all. So I think we have to find the gate. <laughs> yes, so yeah. this is um, 
the old traditional city center of this town and I'm so excited to go in there to see what we can find. And there is no people here as well. That's true. I love yeah. traveling off season. Yeah. Around here you can find some uh, small shops where you can buy uh, a refrigerator and magnets. So here's the city gate. It's big and we have some yeah. old, uh, looks like a Jesus painting or something on the top something there. Like so that, yeah. yeah, it could look like an entrance to a church. <laughs> now we're inside the gate and I can see the old town. I think, I think we need to walk a little bit longer. Yeah, we really have to. And we are surrounded by big, big old buildings with cool colors. Some is refurbished and some one have to be refurbished. But there is some screens here and they destroy a little bit of my old town, um, what do you call it, feeling. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, they have a TV screen in the corner. I think this has to be a, a sort of a church. Oh, the guy on uh, the Sparkesykel, the guy there, he was actually doing the Ave Maria thing. Oh yeah. Religious part of the city. In these windows, there is this biggest church organ I think I've ever seen. The whole building. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a big organ. It's amazing. So now we're walking down this uh, old town and uh, looking at these beautiful buildings. I'm wondering where we end up. I think there is some square in the, in the end of this street. That's typical Eastern Europe. It's always a square where you have bars, restaurants, nice place to meet. The front of the church was really huge. And uh, if you look around, you can see all the type of colors. Pink, uh, normal brick color, white, yellow. But again, it's no people here. Oh, it's amazing. It's so nice to walk here. But what I don't like is they, they are driving cars in this kind of areas. That's stupid. Yeah. Shouldn't be allowed in this kind of streets driving a car. No, inside uh, the city gate. You don't need uh, to have cars at all. Oh, here we have another gate. Yeah, the city with all the gates. And it's massively built. You can see that it's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, you don't want to push that over. It's, oh. uh, it's solid. Another gate. A lot of gates here. Oh, yeah. And a very angry statue. So now I think we will um, end this video here today and tomorrow morning we will start with a great trip from Vilnius to Riga with Lux Express. And that is also a new country. New country, yes. never been there before. So we're going from Lithuania to Latvia. And I've never been in any of these countries, so for me two new countries on the list. Have a great day and if you like what you see, click down here, the button is called subscribe and then you will see everything from us in Bus Magazine in the future. Have a great day. See you on the bus trip to Latvia. See you.